here's a lovely function. Now I'm going to take the definite integral. I'm going to choose my lower bound, negative 2, and my upper bound, 1. Call this function f of x and take the integral with respect to x. I'm in a daredevil mood today, so I'm actually not going to choose sample points that are at the end or at the middle of each of these increments. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to find the lower Riemann sum. That's great. What's a lower Riemann sum? Well, a lower Riemann sum is pretty much when you find the x value in that increment that gives you the lowest f of x value. So I'm going to divide my definite integral here into three equal increments. So I have negative 2 to negative 1, negative 1 to 0, and 0 to 1. Now that I have my three increments, I'm going to choose my sample points. Well, from negative 2 to negative 1, the lowest f of x value is here. So that's going to be the height of my rectangle. And for negative 1 to 0, the lowest f of x value is over here, so that's going to be my sample point. And that's now the height of my second rectangle. And my third rectangle has a height with an f of x f of x value over here, and that is now the height of that rectangle. So if I took the sum of these three rectangles, that would give me the lower Riemann sum for these three inscribed rectangles. 